Let's just open that. Um, if you, for example, a super, uh, any material you take, element or material, the, when you raise the temperature, the resistance of the material increases. Right? When you drop the temperature, lower the temperature, then the resistance, resistivity of the material also decreases. Right? That is the theory. Now, they have been experiments, uh, they have been doing a lot of experiments, and all of a sudden they found for certain materials, when they uh, were lowering the temperature at roughly 30 tem uh, zero. So, there is no resistance, that means, at one critical temperature. So, in superconductor, it's a conductor with no resistance and no magnetic field inside. There is no magnetic field inside. And there has been a lot of research done on this uh, subject. It's Hamelin uh, on it. He's the one who introduced this concept, and he did with uh, mercury, and he used a liquid helium that was around 4 Kelvin. He brought down the temperature to 4 Kelvin, and then he uh, produced a superconductor. Mercury gave picture. So this is not a practical stuff. And then they have been, uh, a lot of scientists have been experimenting to increase <coughs> the temperature. And then uh, recently, uh, I think 1986, someone, some scientists, they found that uh, at 77 Kelvin, they can get this effect, superconductivity, with some different combination of uh, elements. This is yttrium, barium, um, copper, oxide. And when you combine, this is actually this is a ceramic, you know, when you go to the bathroom, the uh, tiles. Oh, yes, yeah. at the room temperature, it is a ceramic, it's a tile, right? And when you reduce the temperature, but uh, when it is in the room temperature, it doesn't conduct. It is an uh, insulator. Insulator is a substance which doesn't contact electric right? So, when you reduce the temperature, it becomes a superconductor. That means there is no resistance, there is no energy loss. When there is no resistance, there is no energy loss. So then they have been developing this, and then they found how it works. Now, this, this is called Meissner effect. Um, when you take a superconductor, the surface of the superconductor, what happens is, uh, there are a lot of thousands of 80 current loops running around. When you have a current loop, you naturally create a magnetic force. Yes, right. Right? Yes. So, here, there are thousands of 80 current loops on the surface, both sides, and they create a force. Here, we have permanent magnets. These are permanent magnets. From the magnetic field lines, they go from north to south. Right? So, when you just leave it, so they are just go. So, when you place the superconductor here, superconductor <coughs> expels, excludes magnetic field. They don't like any external magnetic field. So they do not like it. So they just go around. Because of that, that this is called Meissner effect. So some, uh, of course, there are some, uh, they say quantum trapping, they, there can be some uh, magnet line, field lines, they can go through this substance, but it is not much. But normally, so it creates, when you have a um, permanent magnet like this, so they create a kind of tunnel. Then just cross the train. Then when you give a push, then just it will move around without any friction. Yes, good at all. And we talk about the uh, applications of it. Well, as you already mentioned, superconductors are still under research and development, so there are many improvements uh, to be to come. But a uh, very, very important application that is used nowadays, which is saving people's lives, is the <coughs> MRI scanner. I think probably all of you saw it, probably all of you heard of it, and you know that it has a big, big magnetic side, so you shouldn't have your keys in your pockets when you're doing it, right? <laughs> But the thing is, if you want to create a very, very strong and big medicine inside, you need uh, lots of um, electrical force. And the problem is, if you just use simple wires, they won't be, won't be able to handle this electric force and they will just melt. 
because it's a very strong magnetic field, but not electric and magnetical force around it. So, what they did is they discovered that by using superconductors, they can manage to do this, and they can also keep it at the normal temperature, because else they might have been able to do it, and it was a very, very warm inside, so, but using superconductors, they managed to do it, and uh, then using the um, magnetic field, it creates an image of the body or of the body part, and then doctors can use to diagnose all kinds of medical problems. Oh. Oh. And besides that, there are other applications which are in development, for example, um, superconductive transformers, superconducting filters, and uh, superconducting cables. And uh, another interesting, a bit different but similar to this, is the magnetic levitation. Maglev. Have you heard of the maglev trains? There are some in Germany, there are some in Japan. Yeah. The design is very similar to this one. And they are, they are, they are, they are almost like they are actually floating on a magnetic field created. And the way it works is actually very simple. You know when you have magnets, they have two poles, the north and the south pole. And if you put the north pole and the north pole, they will repel each other. But north and south will attract each other. So the way the train works is, it uses those two magnets repelling each other so it stays afloat and then it has some magnets to stabilize it and here the track is made out of electromagnets and then they just keep on shifting their polarity and when that happens the train will just slowly start moving like this and the faster they shift the polarity the faster the train will move. Of course you do need the electricity to power the electromagnets but because it has almost no drag and no resistance uh, it will use less electricity and, and because of this it's, it's uh, very green. So, um, that's, that's mostly it, and now my colleague will present you um, liquid nitrogen and our nice experiment well, when the train is going to float above it and Jose will tell you more. So, let's get the hands dirty. Yeah. Dirty and cold. Yeah. Okay. How cold is it, Jose? It's 77 Kelvin. Uh, degrees Kelvin. So, this is... Celsius is 167. Minus, minus 167. I think. Can you imagine that? The lowest ever recorded temperature in the world was around minus 80 or 90 in Antarctica, and this is almost double. So it's very, very cold. Yeah. So I'm going. To, I'm going to put it here and this. Uh, a little flower <laughs> will froze. We are sorry for the flower, but that's <laughs> not like flowers, but that's, that's life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 We have this material, this superconductor. Uh, you can the one mm -hmm. here inside. If you see the black, there are like two coins. Uh, this is the, the material, but now like it's a normal uh, room temperature, so it's not a superconductor. So we are going to cool down, and then when when it Become 77 uh, degrees Kelvin, then it will become a superconductor. Yeah, and we have here the you see the, our little flowers. It's rose. So and to put a little bit. Yeah. And the box is a simple aluminium sheet. You just use it to keep the liquid okay. nitrogen inside. Oh, it's full? Because with the uh, smoke, it's difficult to see. Uh, it's full or not. So I'm going to put a little bit. 
There are some drops. Okay, and now, yeah, let's put Okay. Now. You see, it's not it's not touching the the track. Then I'm going to again. Okay. So it looks like a train. <laughs> <laughs> These like the German, the German train. Yeah. They are not from a river. <laughs> So actually, <laughs> there's not uh, resistance, you know, um, friction. there's no friction, no drag. Mm -hmm. The only resistance yeah. that, that yeah. there is, is from the, from the air, you know. Yeah. So, because, yeah, we can put this. This is just a plastic. So when you put, move, can you tell me what, what will happen? No, it's a blanket. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. What if, if you place a magnet, permanent magnet instead of this blanket? <laughs> what will happen? Is that well? Instead of If you place a permanent magnet, yeah, exactly. Because this traffic, this effect is going to be up, so it will just jump you want, I see that you were looking, you wanted to try. You can, you, can, you can put, and you can try, you can feel the force, you know, the, the, magnetic, the, the magnetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah push it down, it up, you can lift it up if, if you want. And be you can do anything, but don't drink a lot. <laughs> 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 yes, then maybe you can just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Yeah. And then try to put it up, down, and. Just uh, try to take it up. Oh. Can you see the force? Yeah. The <laughs> for now. You can, can, can try it if you want. Can I for now? Yeah. Oh, come, come on, get me. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs>